week's replica comes from the Bagley Mishka Fall Runway 2019 show. It was a look that was created by Peter Gray and he had collaborated with Bagley Mishka and their whole collection was inspired by the glamour of the 1940s and 50s. Today I'm gonna show you how to create this look. First, we're gonna prep Ruth's hair for this look. I'm gonna use some damage control, applying it evenly throughout the hair. Because it's really important to make sure that you're protecting your hair, and especially when you're working backstage at Fashion Week or any of the Fashion Weeks, or even on a shoot, you always wanna make sure that the hair health of your model is protected. Now that I've got the damage control in the hair, I just wanna brush that through to make sure it's evenly spread. So now we're gonna section a triangle and we're gonna be taking from corner of the eye to corner of the eye. And in here, we're gonna be applying a bit of mousse because we're gonna be curling and the mousse is just gonna prep this hair. So that's our section. So to prepare for our ponytail, we're gonna be applying Fomoliant. And it's really important that we get this in right at the root. Now to create a ponytail. Step two is complete and we have the hair all tied back. Now what's left is to set the ponytail. For that, I'm gonna take rather large sections and clipping the hair or Ruth. Do you wanna hold that out of the way? And I'm gonna be using a large curling iron to set this hair. Make sure the temperature of the hair on the outside is hot. That way you know that it's become fully set all the way through. I'm also making sure to curl the hair all in the same direction. I've used Fomoliant Mousse, blow drying it into the hair to create a solid foundation. Now I'm gonna use a curling iron set on diagonals for my next step. I've unclipped the ponytail and now I'm gonna unclip the top. And because all of these curls up here have been curled in the same direction, they're gonna to mold together. And now using my Mason Pearson brush, I'm going to brush all of those curls and create a wave with this. We could have her hair sit on this side, or we could even have it sit on this side. And I actually think that's pretty. So what I'll do here is I'm gonna mold this hair back and then attach it to a ponytail. I've got my non-marking clips holding the wave in place. Now I'm going to attach the tail of the wave to my ponytail. So just pulling that hair in and then taking a piece of elastic and just tying the two together. Making sure that as I'm tying, I don't upset the wave. And if I wanna keep my knot hidden, what I can do is I can actually tie it at the bottom. Now we're gonna extend the ponytail. And starting from the top, I'm just gonna begin to wind the elastic back onto itself. In watching the runway show, you can see that the model's ponytails really swing, and it's because they were extended. And once you feel like the ponytail is as extended as you want, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna tie it again. Going right up to the knot and cutting. 
And we're almost done. This is our second last step where we're just gonna take out our non-marking clips. And I like to use a little bit of spray as I remove them. 